Hi YouTube, hi everyone who's watching. My name is Jessie Maraj and this is my first voice video that you can actually hear me. And excuse my English, <laughs> I'm not from English speaking country so I hope that you will understand me what I'm saying. And I hope this video is not going to be a flop and if yes, then <laughs> just let me know in the comments so I can stop doing these videos. <laughs> so a lot of you there were asking me how do I make my videos and how do I edit them so I have decided that maybe I should do a video like this to help you a little bit and maybe teach you something I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13 so I'm not a professional just in case you were asking I, I did learn by myself, by experience so this video is just going to be about basic stuff like how to crop your video anyway i'm sorry that this video is so long but i didn't know how to cut it shorter because i really wanted to show you everything so let's get started after you open your sony vegas go to file open and choose some video you want to use or whatever you want just some video i will be using high school by nikki and wayne as you can see the timeline has actually two bars the first one is for the video and the second is for the sound also i usually go up to uh, change the quality of the preview i change it to draft uh, quarter or draft half depends how my laptop is feeling today. So when I'm making videos, I usually don't use the sound from the video clip. I have my own music. So I go to the sound bar, click right and delete track. As you can see, the video has two black bars, which I don't want. So I'm going to crop it. Here are two icons. You're gonna click on this left one. Up in here are four opinions that you can use. The first one is if you want a square video, it's fine for Instagram or I don't know. The second one is just TV aspect radio. Below TV respect below that is under that is widescreen TV aspect radio which I'm mostly using because I want my videos full screen. To make sure I did crop it well, I'm going to draft and uh, put it on the best preview so I can see if there is no left some black bars. Now I'm splitting the videos. The easiest way is to take one side of the video and just move with the mouse to the right or it depends on which end you are. If you are the end of the video, you're going to obviously to swipe to the left. I'm going to choose some parts of Nikki that I'm going to edit and show you some effects on it. If you want to split the video in the middle, then you have to click right and click on split. And this step I'm going to do a few times, so... Now we are moving on and I'm going to show you some basic effects. So you have to click on the right icon, the left one, that was for cropping, the right is always for the effects. And yes, there are many effects but as I mentioned I will show you just few. So I did choose Sony Mirror and I'm going to click on add and then oh oh. <laughs> So I'm going to change the angle of the flip and as you can see I typed 90 so the video is going to be opposite and if you type minus 90 it's going to be opposite from the other side. I forget to mention that, uh, I don't know why but when I choose the effect it always, not always, but usually it gives me two the same effects and as you can see uh, Nikki is also flipped like over the first video so I don't know why. So if you don't want it, you can just uncheck in the menu the second <laughs> mirror effect and just adjust the size of the Nikki in the video. For this first clip, I'm going again to effects and choose Sonic Cookie Cutter. Again, add and confirm. As you can see, there is a black background and the circle which is a shape. I changed the color and it's not actually the color of the background but it's a color of the shape you want if you want the if you want to add a border to the shape and you can change the feather of the border you can repeat the shape as much as you want and 
Yeah, there are many pretty opinions that you can do with it. So I finally did choose the triangle because it's like a tumbler stuff, so yeah, I like this one. Okay, so I don't want to leave the video like this, the just a black border and a triangle in the middle. I'm going to copy the video and make a new bar of the video. So what I'm going to do is click right on the video and click on duplicate track. Then I'm just going to copy the video and put it in the new video tab. So you can copy by Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Then I'm going to the first video that is below and click on effects and I'm going to uncheck the cookie cutter because basically when you copy the video it copies with the all stuff, all effects that you have in there. And I'm going to effects, I'm going to add black and white effect. So I think it looks pretty nice. And then I'm going again, add a new effect and I'm going for for Sony color curves. Just click right and make a new point and just move it move with it as you want and just I decided that I will the light make it low and okay then I'm just going back to cookie cutter and just adjust the triangle so it's in the middle then I'm going to a video below and go to crop and I'm going to make a new point on the end of the video and and I zoom the video so at the end it will be zoomed so it will go slowly it will run slowly into the zoom. Again, I'm going to video below and go to FX. I did choose Gaussian Blur or how is it said? And I just type some some numbers so how much I want the blur so I will type in. But then I realized that again it made me to the same effect so I had to turn uncheck so I had to uncheck one effect so it will be stay only one. Then I'm going back to the first video that I was making and I'm going to crop and just again just adjust it because I'm a perfectionist and everything reminds me a uh, hundred thousand hours because it's me. So I'm moving on now on the third clip and I'm going again to FX and now this time I'm going to click on the left bar and as you can see there are many folders and I just click on the third party and I did choose TV damage you can roll out every opinion and I did turn off everything what was there because I didn't want it uh, looked as TV I just wanted to add a ghost effect that I'm going to show you how is it made after you turn off every opinion that is there just turn on the ghost thing you can choose number of ghosts I choose three then you can choose the separation and fall off Again, I'm just adjusting it. Again, I'm going to FX and I'm going to add Sonic Glint. This effect literally makes your video glint, so be careful how much you add this glint because it's really going to glint and glow around. You can choose the color, you can choose the glow, the threshold, everything you just want, just adjust it. You can just play with it around and you will see like what is the best for the video because every video has another colors and everything so so it's not same for the every video. Adding text is very easy in the Sony Vegas, so you have to make a new bar or if you have and you don't have any video like at this time which you want a text in there so you can add a text by clicking right and insert text media. Where is sample text you can just write whatever you want to be in the video and upon that you have the fonts, you can choose whatever fonts you like and also you can download and next to it you can choose the size. Also I'm going to change the color to pink. And you can just grab by a pipette the color from the video and then I'm going to add an outline so it will pop out then I'm going into text but the crop but the crop icon and I'm going to zoom into the timeline of the font and I'm just going to make a new point by double clicking left on the timeline and when you click on that it will make a new point in there and you can like randomly move the text and during the video it will move like from the second to the another second and I'm just going to make it just like that simple 
And you know, that's the point when you already realize that you didn't learn English well and you really should make with yourself something. You already can know that. So the green screen will remove the background and it will just make a transparent video for me. So I'm going to effects and I'm going to choose chroma keys. As you can see there is a color and if you change it to green it will change it will disappear the green so that's why they use it for green screen and basically you can use any color what you like what is best for the video so I did choose the blue color from the pool. This effect it wasn't mentioned for this it's really mentioned for the green screen and I don't know I like it. Also as you can see there is a blur amount so I did that and it will just softer your video. There is a separately effect for this but when I was in this effect so I already made it in this so why not. Then I go again to crop so I'm going to make a point in a random seconds and just zoom it and zoom out it. Adding music is simple as uh, adding videos. Again you're going to file open and you're going to choose the destination of the, your music or sound or whatever you want to use. And again if you want to use more music in the same second you have to make more sound taps. And if you want just crop music just as I said before just click left on the mouse and just move it slightly to the left or to the right it depends on which side you are. And if you want to split it, just split it as in the videos. I really thank you for watching and I hope that you like this video at least just 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 a little bit. And let me know in the in the and let me know in the comments and hit the like button please and please also subscribe if you haven't yet and i hope i see you in the next video bye